Good afternoon. I'm Father Peter with my colleagues, Don Salvatera and Eleanor Macchia, and we're coming to you on Thursday, October 1st, which is, as you know, the service of healing, and it is now the St. Stephen's and St. Gabriel's Episcopal Church Thursday service of healing. Today, the church remembers Remigius, who was the Bishop of Reims in the sixth century, and we're going to add a collect. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we're going to add a collect uh, in honor of him, and I'll, I'll tell you when it's coming. Um, otherwise, we're doing the new standard of service, the new service standard, which is uh, not quite on the website yet? It, it is. is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's on the website. So you can follow along if you wish. Uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, and I don't think until I, I get my head on straight, I don't think there'll be any problems. So if you're ready, we're ready. And we'll begin. Blessed be the one holy and living God. Glory to God forever and ever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. And now we will pray the collect for Remigius. O oh God, by the teaching of your faithful servant and bishop Remigius, you turn the nation of the Franks from vain idolatry to the worship of you, the true and living God, in the fullness of the Catholic faith. Grant that we who glory in the name of Christians may show forth our faith in worthy deeds. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now the second collect. Let us pray. Gracious God, we commend to your loving care all who suffer, especially those who come here seeking your healing grace for themselves or for others. Give them patience and hope in their distress. Strengthen up or hold them in mind and body and grant by your intervention all that your people may be and may we make them holy according to your desire through Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the readings. Our first reading is from 1 Kings, verses 17 to 24. After this, the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, became ill. His illness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. She then said to Elijah, What have you against me, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my sin to remembrance and cause the death of my son? But he said to her, Give me your son. She took him from her bosom, carried him up to the upper chamber where he was lodging, and laid him on his own bed. She cried out to the Lord, O Lord my God, have you brought calamity even upon the widow with whom I am staying by killing her son? Then he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried out to the Lord, O Lord my God, let this child life come back into him again. The Lord listened to the voice of Elijah. The life of the child came into him again, and he was revived. Elijah took the child, brought him down from the upper chamber into the house, and gave him to his mother. Then Elijah said, See, your son is alive. So the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are the man of God, and the word of the Lord in your mouth is true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for today is a portion of Psalm 91, verses 9 through 16. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, 
There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our second reading is from Acts 3, verses 1 through 10. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. As he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them, but Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk. And he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the one who used to sit at, and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So now we come to the litany of healing, which is an integral part of our service of healing. And this is the time when we pray aloud for the healing of friends at St. Stephen's, at St. Gabriel's, and friends and colleagues in each of our lives. We begin, let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. For our friends at St. Gabriel's, I would like to pray for Jerry and Linda, Dina and her grandmother, Dennis's mom, Rosemary, Sonia's mom, Matt and Carol, and then everyone involved in the Saturday ministries, Myra, Regery, Brenda, and Carol. For, in Thanksgiving, for the healing, continued healing of my sibling in Christ at St. Luke's Church. Kent Peterman, he is recovering from a serious head injury from a hit and run uh, car accident. Uh, prayers out, go out to his family, Janet, and their children, Neil, Phoebe, and Nate. Um, in prayer for the continued upholding of a friend whose life needs upholding. Um, for the repose of the soul of Marion Campbell and for all of those who are suffering from any kind of spiritual crisis as we go through this pandemic. We pray for the repose of the soul of Renee Claire Fox. We pray for Gerald Lucas Antilli, who is a week into a liver transplant and is not doing well. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mildred Curley. We pray for Amy Wisham, who is now into her fourth operation to contend with her pancreatic cancer. And we pray for all the victims of the coronavirus, those who have died and those who are ill. We pray for all the victims in need of justice and peace. We pray for all the victims of nat natural disasters, wildfires, and dangerous weather. We pray for all the victims of any kind of psychological, sexual, or verbal abuse. 
We pray for all those who are suffering from any form of addiction. We pray for the victims of cruelty and oppression. We pray for those experiencing home and food insecurity. We pray for those who feel invisible. We pray that you may be seen. We pray for the American people and the American democracy in this very difficult and troubling time and in the weeks approaching the November 3rd election. And finally, we pray for the welfare of migrants and their families and those migrants who have lost their homes, their lives, and their children. And now we give you time to name for God before God those for whom you wish to offer your prayers, those people for whom you are interceding. So if you're alone, pray silently, but if you're with a person or two, make your intentions aloud, please. And now we begin with a litany. God the Father, your will for all the people is health and salvation. We praise, praise and, and thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick or injured, that they may be made whole. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to all who <coughs> seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace of consolation, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit, those who are bereaved. Hear us, Cross, O Lord, Lord of life. life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared, declared your, your power, power among the peoples. peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in, and in your, your light, light we, we see, see light. light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make, make us, us whole. whole. Open to us your healing power, O God. We entrust ourselves to your care, knowing that you are doing for us and for all the world far better things than we can ask or imagine. With you as our companion and guide, strengthen us to hope for all that is good and fear no evil. For your love is stronger than death and your faithfulness reaches to the heavens. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and to the ages. Amen. Amen. Now let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other and ourselves and in the world you have created, we repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now we begin with the laying on of hands and anointing. O Lord, Holy Father, giver of health and salvation, send your Holy Spirit to sanctify the chrism, that as your holy apostles anointed many who were sick and healed them, so may those who in faith and repentance receive this holy unction be made whole through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you 
and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I lay my hands upon each of you and anoint you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, praying that you will be strengthened and filled with God's grace and that you may know the healing power of the Spirit. Amen. And may the blessing, peace, exquisite care, and healing grace of God be with you on this day and on all days going forward. Amen. Now may the God who goes before you through desert places by night and by day be your companion and guide. May your journey be with the saints. May the Holy Spirit be your strength and Christ your clothing of light in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the final prayer, blessing, and the peace. And let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Christ, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life and in the life to come. Amen. May God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. And may God, the holy and undivided Trinity, guard your life, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now with this healing and the grace of God that goes with it, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. And thank you for being with us on this Thursday service of healing October 1st. We hope you'll be with us again and don't forget we have three services Monday through Thursday and on Friday we have our Friday reflection which goes up on Facebook midday. Thank you again for being with us. Goodbye.